no matter where you are in the U. As these days, it's likely you'll be greeted by unmasked faces in public. Today, more than 98% of the nation's counties no longer fall under the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommendation to mask up. Last month, the CDC changed its guidance for masking to include hospital capacity, and raised the threshold for positive cases. While the sea of full faces may make it seem like the pandemic is over, experts warn it's far from done, and some worry the new metrics may fall short of projecting a community's true COVID-19 risk. COVID will be around for a long time, there's no doubt about that, said Jason Solemi, Associate Pro. I hate to boil down everything about COVID-19 into a single county-level map that has three shades of color. Under the old CDC guidelines, masks were recommended for people living in communities of substantial or high transmission, which at the time applied to roughly 95% of U.S. counties. But federal officials said case numbers and positive tests alone no longer gave an accurate picture of COVID-19 risk as many Americans rely on at-home tests and results go unreported. They also argued infections with the Omicron variant were less likely to cause severe illness and hospitalization. Including hospital data was inevitable, Salemi said, but changing the caseload limit may have been premature. Areas reporting more than 200 weekly cases per 100, 000 people are labeled as moderate risk on the CDC map, and fall outside the indoor mask recommendations. Omicron is still causing a lot of severe illness, he said. We have to start moving to where people are getting back to normal but I want to make sure that we're doing that when you know the risk to people. From the virus is much lower than it was when we started to implement this new approach. Although coronavirus cases have plummeted from the recent homie. If a novel variant arrives to the U.S., or an existing one causes a surge in cases, some health experts worry the CDC's new metrics may not recognize it until it's too late. 